Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins already. When we left off, we had just entered the Kingdom of Orzammar after we had a brief little talk with our companions after, you know, Ostagar. Now that we're done with that, we head in this direction, since that seems to be the only direction left we have, heading into the commons. Which makes sense. And from here on, I'm assuming... Well, I didn't expect this, but... It's gonna be something big. It is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. You not speak that way about the man who should be king! Whoa. Okay. Well, we have walked immediately into violence. Joy. Something's wrong. Something's very, very, very wrong. Captain of the Guard. I guess we're talking to him next. Diamond Quarter right, proving ground straight ahead. Okay, understandable. Guess we'll uh, talk to the captain of the guard. Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Well, can a city function like this? See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. Well, I mean, I wasn't yeah, thinking that. We're busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Harrowmont in there. Sort this all out in a hurry. Then why aren't they doing that? Uh, the proving? Personal battles for honor and ancestor. I don't expect a surfacer to understand. Fair but enough. you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit. The true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Fair enough. The Blight is coming and I need Orzammar's assistance. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the diamond quarter if you want. Bunch of mm -hmm. Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Sounds like Balin and uh, Harrowmont are the ones to talk to. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Mm -mm. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. You mentioned paragons. Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit. The true bright spot in the diamond quarter. Okay, I guess I should get going. Yes, you should. Yeah, I guess I should. It's big. Yeah. That's kind of how it happens for cities. They go big. Narav. Did you see that? I cannot believe what this city has come to. Oh, yeah? This would never have happened when Endrin was alive. Well... Duh, because, I mean, that makes sense. Okay, uh, this Balin, is that King Eldrin's son? Aye. Mm. What a terrible burden for a father to have only Balin left of three fine sons. Oh. In the end, Endrin himself recognized that Balin cared for nothing but power. Mm. It was Endrin who ordered his son away from his deathbed and embraced Lord Harrowmont as his heir. Why such hate for Balin? Everybody knows he killed his brother Trian and let his father's favorite son take the blame. 
And many question whether Endrin died abed, as we were told, or whether Balin helped him along. I see. How did he die? He died in bed after his eldest son was murdered, and the Assembly condemned his second son for it. I cannot blame him for preferring to join the Ancestors in eternal peace, if Balin didn't murder him himself. Fair enough. Understandable. Is Haramont qualified to rule? He is a good man and a skilled general. King Endrin trusted him with his life, and I will do no less. Fair enough. Who are you, anyway? I am Narav Helmi, third daughter of the second matron of House Helmi. Mm. And you, stranger, what brings you to Orzammar at such a time? I am Tomas, a Grey Warden, and I am here seeking aid. A Grey Warden? That explains why they allowed you past the gates. What kind of aid do you mean? I have a treaty compelling Orzammar to aid against a blight. A blight? Now? But our warriors are killing each other in the streets. Yeah, that I means it's an unfortunate fear. timing. I fear there will be no aid for you in Orzammar. If you seek Fine. Lord Harrowmont's support, I suggest you talk with his trusted advisor, Doolin Ferender. He might be able to get you an audience. Are you telling me I have to pick a side in this? Do I have to? Oh, man. I'm not going to have a choice now, am I? Damn it. Commoner, commoner, commoner. Someone with an exclamation point above their head. Nug Wrangler Borman. I knew I should have stuck to common nugs. I've gone and lost them, too. I'll never find them the way they skitter. Common nugs? I don't like those. They look dirty. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. <sighs> Guess I'm shutting it down. These things dangerous? I gotta boil them before roasting, but otherwise, no, safe as sand. Some people swear they make good pets. May as well leash a turnip, I say. Hmm. Well, if I see any of them, I'll send them your way. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. Well, there you go. I guess I'll have to do that. Uh, excuse me, I, um, do you have a moment? Sure, Dagna. You look like you're not from around here. I, uh, yeah, you could say that. Oh, wonderful. I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. Mm -hmm. I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? The Circle? Why is a dwarf interested in the Circle? I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. Do you want me to ask them? That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know mm -hmm. the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? She's so enthusiastic and adorable. I'm glad we're helping her. <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. I didn't necessarily agree I would be dragging you along, but okay. Okay. I guess. Garen, hi. Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garenson's luxury goods shop. Garen Garenson. Well, a lot of you, and I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. One of those? What was I saying? Have a look at my shop, I hope. Right. I have some lovely things here. Uh, lyrium enhanced, of course. Okay. Lyrium enhanced. With a lot of silverite, I'm noticing. Silverite, sylvan wood, dragon bone. Wow. That is actually really expensive and, I'm assuming, really strong. For a dagger, anyway. Kinda. Ish. It's tier 7. Uh, 2 dexterity, 2 health regeneration, 3 damage. Plus 5 melee critical chance, plus 30 critical backstab chance. Which is more than what I... Or rather, damage. Which is more than what I get out of Duncan's dagger. But just barely. 
and three slots for enchantment. In the darkest alleys on the wrong side of town, tales of the Black Rose prosper. He was an assassin without peer, little known except by his wake of bodies, and this dagger left in the heart of a king. The Rose's Thorn. To explain the tale of the Black Rose. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well. If I had the money, it'd be almost worth it, but I just don't, so. I guess uh, none of that. Oh. Clear natural crystal. Um, this is for shale, for sure. Plus two constitution, plus four health regeneration, 15 nat nature damage. Converts all damage to nature damage. This, earth this crystal exudes a pungent, earthy smell, as if of a forest swept with rain. Interesting. Okay. That might be something I want to buy. I'll sell that thing, because I don't think I need it. And, yep, I do, I do, I do, I do want to buy. Because if they're both clear, then they're both good. And I might as well sell those. Dwarven armor, dwarven armored gloves, dwarven helmet. Plus two physical resistance. Plus decent armor type. And it would work with Alistair. Hmm, this is a good dwarven work forged by Smith House Tolar. Okay, interesting. What about the gloves? Do I have any? I do not have any dwarven anything. Heavy boots. It's got to be with heavy armor. Gains a bonus to armor with that. Okay. Fair. And with basic dwarven armor and basic dwarven boots... For the armored gloves gains a bonus to armor anyway so they all give a bonus to armor it's just huh interesting okay life giver whoa okay um plus 10 constitution plus six health regeneration in combat plus 10 health regeneration while exploring plus three armor plus 20 to healing effects received wowzers that is a very very powerful ring the dark arts of a powerful blood mage forged this ring despite its unsavory origin the ring's power has made it a favorite of many nobles and heroes over the centuries some say its abilities come at a price but if true that price is not apparent interesting Interesting, interesting, interesting. I kind of want it. If for no other reason, then it must be good. Um, remarkable diamond, golden mirror, gold amulet, gemmed bracelet. Is there anything... Anything involving backpacks that you sell? You don't. Damn it. I was hoping that you would, but apparently you don't. Damn it. Okay. Let's go down this way. Oddly, they're supposed to be safer to travel during a blight. Interesting. Runestone. Ah, on shapers. Well, I found the, one of the nugs. Cool. That worked out beautifully. You can give that right back to him. That wasn't that hard at all. Actually, makes me wonder if I can get more of them before I hand them back. Nope, nothing this way. All right, fair enough. Eh, let's talk to you. Come on, I'm out of the nug game. Got nothing to sell. Well, I got a nug for you here. Saraka, I'm back in the game, such as it is. 
I don't have much besides gratitude, but find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I've found. Fair enough. Ooh, 12 silver. That ain't insignificant. Well, kind of not insignificant. So that's a shop that I can go to. Okay. That's what that symbol means, I guess. Let's talk to y'all. Mines commander. What's this? A human? Did we make these tunnels tall enough for humans? I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrol scheduled to leave today. Mm -hmm. Why do you need patrols? Don't let the comm fool you. The darkspawn are down there, aren't they, Commander? Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Actually, they've made their move on the surface. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except it. Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. Oh, it is. Well, are darkspawn the only danger in these tunnels? Of course not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Huh. Deep stalkers. Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. Hmm. Are there no dwarves past this point? A few outposts. Legion of the Dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. Legion of the Dead. It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. Oh, so Anyone PMC. Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes. <laughs> or sanity. They hold mm. a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. Well. They certainly keep to their theme. I'll give them that. Uh, will you let me pass? Into the deep robes? Not without a full unit of soldiers to back you, my friend. Or a Desha's permission to risk yourself. Orzammar can't afford to lose its citizens or honored guests on casual visits to the deeps. Fair enough, then I should go. I, for your sake, I hope you've no reason to come here again. Well, I'm a Grey Warden. Unfortunately, I do. But it won't be now. It will be later, for sure. Okay. So, I've explored this avenue. There's a shop down that way, but otherwise nothing too spectacular. And we'll go this way. Dagna is over here. Commoner. Ancestors guard my son, for he is lost in darkness. Mothers keep him safe, for you know what it is to mourn. Okay, Filda. I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although, I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. I mean, you're right. They do not. Uh, what were you praying for? My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. Safe return? Your son is missing? It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud. Mm -hmm. They got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. Did anyone go after him? The captains don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Mm -hmm. Too many were taken by dark spawn that way. Understanding. Understandable. Um, could understand why they wouldn't want to do that again. We shouldn't abandon him. I'll look for him if you want. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. I'm a Grey Warden. That's what we do. A Warden? So you could do it. Only Wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Please, find me as soon as you return. Of course. I'll do my damnedest. Hey, another dog! Cool. Little extra money. Doing this. This is a tavern. Okay, I guess I'll have to go in there in a bit. 
Another shop, Legnar. Topsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balin stands for. Oh, so someone who supports Balin. Your allegiance to him is clear. Why? Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick. Yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Mm. Some say Balin killed his father. Just as many say Harrowmont. Neither are paragons. And the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. You approve of this chaos? Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. A blight is coming. Orzammar can't be divided. Orzammar will decide what we can or can't be. Blight may be imminent on the surface, but our warriors are well seasoned against dark spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to you. Says you, but sure, fine. Whatever. Let's see what you have in the store. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Thank you, I guess? Okay, um, Quicksilver Arming Cap, Duster Leather Gloves. What the hell does that mean? At least part of this looks like it was cut from a lady's handbag. The rest is pierced, pieced together from who knows what. When equipped with a set with Duster Armor and Boots, it's a bonus to armor. It's light gloves. Okay. Silver Hammers, Evaders, Shadow of the Empire. Made of drake skin. It's light armor with strength, dexterity, and two stamina regeneration. An Orlesian design, but unusually subdued and bearing of all unlikely things, the royal seal. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Tome of the Mortal Vessel. Fear of blood magic has stigmatized academic dissection, but dedicated scribes keep anatomical works from disappearing. This book allows training that modestly increases a reader's base attributes. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. No backpack from you either, though. Damn it. Hmm. To be fair, this is pretty interesting, and I have enough money for it, but... <laughs> Alright. Brother Burkle. Wall carving. An explanation of the dwarven cast cased system. Oh, another dog! Ha-ha! Catching them left and right now. Okay, Brother Burkle. Let's talk to you. Maker's blessing on you, brother. I didn't think dwarves believed in the Maker. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Return to my ancestors' land oh. and spread the chant of light. I Even see. Even in the very bowels of the earth, we hear no end of this chant. I guess so. And that is something to rejoice in, good sister. Uh, I'm petitioning to open a chantry don't know about in that. Don't dwarves worship their ancestors or something? There is resistance. Mm -hmm. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. That's their religion. You shouldn't interfere. You speak as if these people have deliberately chosen to reject the Maker. But most of them haven't even heard his name. How can they choose the path of enlightenment if they never learn that the path exists? You think that you can show everyone the way? I'm just fool. Andraste revealed the truth. The Maker took her up to live at his right hand and... No, never mind. It's clear you strayed too far to be brought back with a single conversation. Well, I don't know about that, but... May the Maker guide your way. Well, I think I, uh... Blocked off that from being a thing. Oh well. So that goes to Dust Town. This goes to the tavern. Might as well go to the tavern first. That was an interesting load. Okay. I tried dwarven ale once, 
I thought it was just something they tricked surfaces into drinking as a joke. It still could. Still could be that. Cora. I'll trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? Mm. I'd like to hear a bit about the city. <laughs> so you come to Tapsters? I guess you're not asking for anything official, or you'd be at the Shaper It. But I can certainly give you a mole's eye view. What's a Shaper It? It's the bureau of all the Shapers in Orzammar, led by the Shaper of Memories. Mm. If you're from the surface, I guess you'd call them scholars. They keep all of our records, laws, genealogies. You got questions about Orzammar's history, and don't mind answers in words as long as your leg, that's the place to go. Hmm. Where can I find the Shaper of Memories? He'd be in the Diamond Quarter. Pardon, the Nobles District. Mm -hmm. Upstairs from here, however you call it. That makes a lot of sense. Is there any place I should see while I'm here? The Nobles stay upstairs, except when they're slumming. Mm -hmm. You'll find the Assembly there. The Palace, the Shaperit, and plenty of estates. Mm -hmm. Down from here is just Dust Town or the Mines. So my recommendation is avoid. It's not part of the city, just some old tunnels where the Castles build their nest. No one goes there if they can help it. But if you want fun, your best bet is the proving. What's the proving? It's a chance for all the best fighters in Orzammar to test their skills. Hmm. There's a tournament today. Arenas between here and the Diamond Quarter. That's all. Thank you. A Grey Warden is always welcome in Tapsters. I do appreciate hearing that. Okay. Tapsters waitress. But not named, so... It's not all that interesting. Nevin. You're named. I'm assuming this is supposed to be singing. I don't know about that. Afternoon, stranger. You looking for a stool to share a brew? Who are you? Name's Naveen. I fight Naveen. Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? I'm Tomas, a great warden. A gray warden. I'm also great, but I mean that's not associated. That's not the point. I am this. Figured as much. Mm -hmm. Good folks, wardens. I was in the deep roads when that one came by. What was his name? Dukan, Duncan, uh, something like that. Duncan. You knew Duncan? I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the deep roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. You work for Balin? I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Fair enough. Who's your unit fighting? Darkspawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. Understandable. I've never been in the Deep Roads. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow. And we're not the only ones. Oh, yeah? Who's sending you out? Valen ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tigs. Mm -hmm. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Who's Bronca? Bronca was a paragon, some kind of great smith or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But she went batty and let her old house into the deep roads more than two years ago. Oh. No chance she could have survived. And a lot of good men are going to die looking for her corpse. Excuse me. This brew is starting to taste awful bitter. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say you'd be the paragon of drinking since you're singing like a drunken horse, more or less. The deep roads aren't for the faint of heart. No, you're not wrong about that. Give you that much. Another 
patron, as is, I'm assuming, that one. So, I guess I'm done here. Nervous Adventure. I can't take it. Ah, uh, bruh. Get away. You'll change like the rest. Monsters hidden in all my friends. What are you talking about? They follow you. Once you are in the story, they possess your friends and follow. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out. I won't disappear chasing a lie. I won't. Okay, then. Alrighty. Sure. I Elder think... I don't understand why the Provings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their favor. Do they really need our help to decide who's worthy? And then he practically slapped me. Well, that's... That's... Interesting. Helmy, I heard about you. Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. Well... You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? You know me? Word travels fast. You don't get far as the youngest and most outspoken member of the Assembly without keeping an ear to the stone. I heard there was a Grey Warden in town. No offense, but you kind of stand out. That's more than fair. Your views on caste must be controversial in the Assembly. Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at Tapsters. No, I didn't hear of or you did they leave doing that. The greatest shame to ever fall upon the Assembly. I'm always like that one. I did you not know, hear that one either. Most Smiths and Tavern Keeps would make decent dashes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the Assembly. Orzammar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. How does the cast system work, anyway? Badly. Oh, hmm. you're serious? Oh, yeah, a little... Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. Hmm. Interesting. That sucks, but interesting. So you get to vote on the next king? Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. Mm -hmm. They're not fond of my views on equality. That's understandable. Who are you voting for? I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Mm -hmm. Because Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that. And subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. I think that kind of convinced me on which side I would like. I should get going. As you wish. Fair enough. Onward I go, having had my conversations in the taverns. And a little extra save, I guess. Did not expect that. Alright, with that done, I guess I will... Oh yeah, speak to Dagna again. You're back? But it takes two weeks and four days minimum to make the journey to the Circle Tower. Why do I get the feeling charting routes to the Circle Tower is one of her favorite hobbies? Uh, I'm might be a little bit. Left yet. Not, not quite yet. I'm not leaving Orzammar until this election is resolved. Well, I've waited 19 years. Another month won't kill me. I mean, that's fair, but uh, I don't know about a month. You're back, but it takes two weeks and four days minimum to make. Okay, the let's month. skip this all right yet. now. Uh, why are you so interested in magic anyway? Here in Orzammar, we're surrounded by stone and tradition and more stone. Nothing ever changes. Mm -hmm. But to break every natural law by thinking about it, to dream and walk in a realm where everything you think comes true. I can't imagine anything more wonderful. Fair enough. Alright, so what? I'll just 
say that I'm dealing with the election, and then we're good. Okay, so... So I'm wondering something. What exactly does a woman see in a man like Zebra? No, oh, he's handsome enough for some. Why'd you ask? No reason. It's just... Doesn't he seem to be a bit too much? The hair, the clothing... I don't understand. A bit too much what? Do you have a problem with him? Beyond the fact that he's an assassin who's tried to kill us more than once? No, no, not really. Do women go for that sort of thing? <laughs> Where I come from, they do. Oh, yes. Huh. Really? I see. <laughs> well, interesting. Oh, nice. Awesome. Or is it Good day to you. Good day to you. And I'm assuming this is the diamond... Oh, that's approving. Okay. So the diamond quarter is the other way. Oh, yeah, the sign did say that. That's right. And then the left was the dust town thingy. Okay. Anyway. What the? Another nug! I'll be damned. I didn't... I didn't see that. Or at least I didn't think I saw it. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. Oh, yeah? Are you sure? You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. I guess I just gotta talk to you a number of times. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. Until I've more out there. deposited all of them. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. Is there? I trust Vala, my nug wrangling friend. Fair enough. There's the diamond quarter. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, if I have to talk to the... One scholar dude, whose name I forget. I guess this is the way to go, so. I hope the assembly picks a king soon. Now I'm sure everyone's hoping that same thing. Adal Helmi. You have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. Understandable. And I can't go in there. Okay, that's fair. Lord Aralon is the voice of tradition and stability. Ooh. Diamond Mall, huh? Interesting. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect it to be free to take, too. But that's how it is, I guess. Lady Dasi? This has dragged on too long. It's an insult to King Endrin's memory. Yeah, no, that's fair. Narav? I hope you'll support Lord Harrowmont. Well... Probably. The Lord Haramont is a uh, weak man, and he will be a weak king. Yes. Uh huh. Right. And this is uh, the royal palace. The dwarves have a king. I thought they voted on everything, or something like that. Yeah. It's interesting that they decide that. The king has to be voted on, but I guess that is how it is. Just how they do things. Makes sense, I guess. The Chamber of the Assembly, huh? Interesting. Am I allowed in? That doesn't give me an answer, but okay. It's just a noble. Okay. All right, I'm just going to run around until I find someone who's named. That is worth... Oh, that's it. The Shaperet. That's who I needed to talk to to learn about Dwarven things. Thief! Who would dare take from the memories? Ah, uh, no idea. Warden, I'm outraged. A thief in the Shaperet. What have we been reduced to? That's a good question, but I don't know. Did you get a good look at him? I did. He was bald. With the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Hmm. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. If they couldn't know the value. Interesting. Guess I'm going to Dust Town at some point. There's the Shaper. There's a book for me to read. Cool. Shaper at Scribe. I'm sure you're busy, so 
I'll go to the other exclamation mark. Orta. Oh, um, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Nah, Not that I could really. Not really help. I, um, don't know the libraries very well. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing some research. What kind of research? I was looking for something about the Ortan Taig. It was mm -hmm. lost during the last blight, and there aren't many records left. Mm. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Ortan, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. Mm -hmm. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Ortan, who was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. Interesting. I'm a Grey Warden. I'm not afraid of the Deep Roads. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Taig, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you can find the Taig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could. Maybe now that you're looking. It's almost too much to hope. I mean, I can look into it, maybe. Legion of Steel. Interesting. Well, let's talk to the Shaper. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I'm sure I it is. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the Zibor. Shaper of Memories. Shaper of Memories? The Shaper it guards Orzammar's knowledge. We have preserved in Lyrium all of the records of Dwarven history. The memories record all. They are how we know to which family a child owes life. How we trace lost hikes. They ensure we forget nothing of our past, good or bad. Hmm. Len, let's talk about Orzammar. Ask, and I shall do my best to answer. What's the difference between an ancestor and a paragon? All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors to guide their families forever. But only one every few generations rises to Paragon. A Paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. And that's what Branca was? Branca is a Paragon, now and into death. She was born a smith, but her inventions caught the assembly's eye. Before she had seen 20 years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her paragon status. Where's Branca now? She went into the deep roads two years ago seeking out secrets of the ancient smiths. She never returned. Uh, understandable. Okay. Well, quirky and inventive and looked to find more inspiration and possibly died chasing that ambition unfortunate how did the caste system come to be according to our legends seven brothers founded our empire the youngest bloodlick was Blodlick. the wisest that's and a most chosen king his children formed the noble caste the eldest giachet trained his sons to defend their king they became the warrior caste mm. shotgyar founded the artisans orzatyar forged our first swords Mm -hmm. It was Orzammar who dug the mines that became our city's foundations. The twins Koapar and Noct both founded trading houses, but Noct was wounded in battle. On his recovery, he swore to serve his brother's sons. Hmm. Fair enough. What about the castless? The castless descend from criminals and those repudiated by their own families or who chose to go to the surface and live by human laws. They have no ancestors to guide them and no families to claim them. They should not have been born. Whoa. Their parents defied their shame and brought cursed children into the world. It's better they die young. Whoa. It seems easy for you to dismiss them. Their births are not recorded in the memories. In Orzammar, they do not exist. Is there something more pleasant you wish to discuss? Tell me some of Orzammar's history. We were a great empire once, outnumbering even humans and elves. Mm -hmm. We traded with your Tevinter Imperium, and our land stretched as far in the deep roads as theirs did above. Kalsharok was capital then, 
But we lost too many battles. We lost our golems. And we lost our territory. Now the Empire is simply ruined tunnels filled with darkspawn. How did you lose your golems? The Paragon Caradon, a smith of unsurpassed genius, invented the golems. For years they were our weapon against the darkspawn. One golem is worth a dozen dwarves in battle. But Caradon's tig is far into the deep roads. When it fell, we lost his secret to creating golems. Mm. There are books about it along these walls, if you would read more. What is a tag? They are to us what a colony is to surfacers. Hmm. Understandable. Where is Cal Chirac? At the other side of the old empire. During the last blight, the kings of Orzammar knew they couldn't hold everything. They sealed the deep roads, abandoning everyone still trapped in far-flung settlements. It was the only way to survive. Cal Chirac is the only other city to outlast the blight. We only rediscovered them recently, and they still haven't forgiven us. Hmm. And uh, enough history. Let's talk basic Arzamar. I will settle your mind if I can, Warden. Fair enough. Let's go back to my first question. Please, speak your mind. Okay. Sorry to disturb you, then. Your Goodbye. presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has. Well, I guess we'll find out now, won't we? Further on into the area, and I can find more books. Okay. Where's the mark? Politics. Legion of the Dead. Dwarven Faith. Wall of Memories on Shapers. And a song about a nug. Ooh. Allow me. I could do that for you. Well, let's see. Ooh! Loves of diligence, the search for the true prophet, and she got a level up for it. Ain't that nice? Ain't that just perfect? All right, level up time. Let's see. Um, hmm. Go for a little more cunning, huh? Talents, let's see. Ah, that requires more cunning. Damn. Uh, deadly strike, combat movement. This is more for rogue stuff. This, I'm assuming, is more of a physical attack. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, sustained Song of Courage. Is that different than Song of Valor? Ancient Tale of Valorous Heroes. Bonus to mana or stamina regeneration. Okay. An epic song of the party's exploits, granting a bonus to attack, damage, and critical chance. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. So, archery, and what they have left. Hmm. Defensive fire. Receiving a bonus to defense, but slowing the rate of fire. Critical shot. Um, finding a chain... Mm. Finding a gap in the target's defenses. I had to cut that bit out, because... Mm. Too easy for that to be uh, misused, that little audio clip. Uh, finding a gap in the target's defenses, the archer fires an arrow that, if aimed correctly, automatically scores a critical hit and gains a bonus to armor penetration. The master archer talent increases the armor penetration bonus. Which is right there. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go with that. Well... Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's more than fine. Okay, um, select tactics. Let's see. Hmm. Um, hmm. I'll have to alter that off camera because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that. But that said... 
I don't think there's much else I want to do here. So, yeah. Okay. We're doing good so far. What? Nothing. Nothing for you, anyway. All right. And I think I'm done here because we are near the end of the episode. Uh, yeah, we're significantly over the end of the episode, but first I want to get this book. There we go. Okay. In praise of the humble nug. Okay. So, anyway, time to end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only stray cat playing games and talking with the shaper it to learn a few things about dwarves and how they do things and uh, in general running around orzammar to find out how dwarves do things uh, a little bit more secondhand than directly from the shaper but we'll see if we can help them along in multiple aspects but i'm pretty sure i'll have to take a side in this fight between balin and harrimont so it'll be does lord harrimont think that orzammar can hold off the dwarves forever the assembly demands an answer. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. But we'll figure out what we have to do in regards to the whole problems in succession soon enough. Probably through Harriman's estate, which will be probably the easiest and more likely the one I would prefer in terms of dealing with this whole situation. Maybe. I've rambled enough. We'll find out for you.